Yo, what up, that nation, baby? <laughs> and we back with another video. And today, we just want one of my requests this time. Your request? I requested to watch this damn video, nigga. <laughs> It was too hard. It was too hard. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you talking about, boy. Fuck you talking about. Shit. Justin, what are we watching today, bro? NBA's most savage interviews. Doubt, nigga. I don't know what really makes an interview kind of savage. I mean, I'm sure we could go ahead and find out. We're about to find out. Trust me on that one. Not. Trust me on that one. Not. Okay? Original videos in the description below, but let's get into it. Thornton, but what a great team effort by the Houston Rockets as James with a huge night tonight. All right, James, you got to feel really good about the, getting this victory here in, uh, in LA. Second night of a back. Like well. Man, we finally get in the groove. You know, um, we really didn't have Damn. a lot of time during training camp, so he was we just it up away. And uh, one thing we're going to rely on is our defense. So, um, you know, tonight's another great effort. Uh, we had big fella back. And uh, we just got to keep it going from here. And you talk okay. about the defense. The Clippers are a tough team to defend. Blake Griffin's having a whale of a season, and you guys, you were guarding him at some times as well. Is it hard to get that defensive game plan set on the second night of a back-to-back? -back? Yeah, man, you know, they're a really good team. He's strong. Um, you know, they're a really good team. You know, so we wanted to come here and just battle, 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 and uh, we'll over the results, and we came up with the victory. Back-to-back 40-point -back, uh, games for you. The last time a Rocket had back-to-back 43-point -back games was back in 1982, Moses Malone. I wasn't even born there. Rest in peace. I wasn't even born there, no. Um, you know, Hall of Famer. But you got your rhythm going. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was when the meme was from? I didn't know that was the meme. What was he doing? Like, what What was the point of that? Back in 1982, Moses Malone. I wasn't even born there. Rest in peace. I wasn't even born there, no. Um, you know, Hall of Famer. But you got your rhythm going now. He just what? Really he kind of, hey. He had that Uzi <laughs> eye roll. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that Uzi eye. Oh! And what? Wow. Oh, yeah, we already know about this one. What? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This nigga was disgusted. Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Wow, he was wild. He was wild for that one. He was wild. Yeah, that was crazy. Here's an interesting question. So last year, you visited us. Uh, game three, the no flood. You win. Game four, there was flood. You, you lose. And this year you visit us. Game three, there's a flood. You win. Game four, there's no flood. You, uh, uh, no. Game three, what is there's flood. You, you lose. Game four, there's uh, no flood. You win. Brother, so you, that you asked me about the flood in practice the other day. You know, and I, um, I, I said I pray for the city of Houston because you don't want to see anyone go through that. I feel like you keep trying to get at like us hitting threes or something. And you're trying to get a controversial statement out of me, Ooh. but you're not because that's wild. He was really Houston. talking people about people are floods. losing their homes, losing their cars, losing their lives, losing loved ones, and you're trying to get a controversial statement out of me. Yeah, that's some bullshit. About the threes we're hitting, I know what you're getting at, but you're not getting that out of me. Yes, it, it sucks. If I was from Houston, I'd do anything I can to help the city out. And I'm sure some of those guys are gonna do what they can to help the city out. And you saw a donation the other, other, the other night. It sucks, stop trying to do that. That's not cool, man. You keep asking me the same question about this flood. These people are losing their lives, bro. Damn. Losing their homes, don't ask me that no more. Cause it ain't cool. And you're not getting the statement you want out of me. He got That's not cool, man. Stop doing that. He asked on that nigga out in front of everybody. That nigga, tell me that's how he looked when he was getting amped on. Why is this nigga real shit? Oh, y'all niggas want to talk to me again? Fuck. Shit. Don't even press me today. Oh, Don't shit. even press me today. <laughs> he said I'm not in the mood, nigga. Did a good job executing. Down the stretch, you and Serge seem to be in a really great rhythm. Uh, what allowed you guys to be so successful? Mm, did a good job execution. Oh, I remember this shit. He knew he was going to do that right there. Mm -hmm. He was talking about the 15 2 run. He went with a, a small lineup with five really good offensive players. 
on the court? What does it what does it do for your offense when everybody out there is really accomplished as an offensive player? They be looking at. He trying to look at everybody but him. Just in the fourth quarter, what did you see from them defensively that allowed you to focus as much as you did on passing the rock? Man, we did a good job executing. <laughs> I want to know, like, yo, is this? He's not even listening, basically. I just don't like you. Oh shit! Do you not like Nick either? I love Nick, but I don't like you. Well, you're getting the same answers. Yeah. You got another question? You played a great oh. game. He one pressed his one. ass. In terms of production, assists, rebounds, points. Is this one of the better games you can think of in your in your career? Good execution. It seemed like you guys played with a real good sense I would have ended it by now. He's just that repeating been himself. Been in the past? Uh, we did a good job executing tonight. Gotta be like, guys, this isn't working. Last one. Uh, it was a good job. We did a great job executing. Yeah, I'd be, like, I'd be like, yeah, we're done. We're done. Points for Kevin Durant tonight. Kevin, how important was it for you guys, your first extended road trip with the team, to really get off to a good start? Uh, it's very important. You know, we want to build good habits. Uh, I think tonight we saw that makes sense. Their defense picked up. We were oh. on the foul line for the first times. I mean, that's, you know, yeah, you know, we put a team on the foul line that much. Ah, Drake got right. We put the team on the foul line that much. They bound to score a lot. So, you try to stare that nigga down. Overall, we played a good game. Quarter, we moved the basketball. That nigga thought he was hard. That's wild, because he so loves Drake. That nigga got hair like a grandfather. <sighs> no, that's bad. That's that's a little five-year-old boy that don't brush his hair. Son, you want to go to the barbershop? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm just playing basketball, trying to make the right play. If I got a shot, I'm going to shoot it. If I see a pass and somebody open, I'm going to pass the ball. That's simple. And uh, this was Drake Knight here, and uh, he's the one who just interrupted us. What, give me a taste of what the uh, trash talk was like, what the, uh, you know, what the interaction is like with your, your buddy there. I don't give a damn about no damn Drake Knight. Damn! I don't give a damn about it. LeBron, when the Warriors were up here, there was some talk about what trash talk causes the line and what doesn't. I think Clay Thompson said, I guess he just got his feelings about being a prideful guy. and some comments very much made. Would you discuss that whole issue? What's fair and not fair on the court? What happened? What Clay said? Yeah, and what crosses the line? No, I'm not. What did you say, Clay said? Clay said, I guess he just got his feelings hurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> that nigga live. Hey, that's when they turned it around. Oh my goodness. Um, I think the transcript will support that. <laughs> that is the game. That's the game they turned that shit around and came back from three one. Clay made that nigga mad, bro. Come on, Clay. You gotta know better. That's a that's a that's a goat, bro. Wow. They won the next uh, few I'm, games. I'm not gonna comment on, on what Clay said because I know where it can go from this sit in. Um, <laughs> it's so hard to take the high road. I've been doing it for 13 years. It's oh, so boy! I need to do it, and I'm gonna do it again. Um, at the end of the day, we gotta go out. We gotta show up and, and play better. Damn, tomorrow. who taught this man his uh, presence, like, like agent, bro? Cause he came out the gate like this. Yeah. Like he's never been in a bad situation. Boy, LeBron, LeBron got <laughs> mad at this point. Boy, LeBron, I know I understand, but at this point, bro, I don't know how you can hate him. Like he has stayed out of trouble. Let's do, bro. <sighs> And if we don't, then they're gonna they're gonna be back-to-back uh, -back champions, and um, you know, and that's it. But uh, I'll take it high road again. I know he said he said I know they think they're gonna be back-to-back -back champions. Hey, I'm sorry, all y'all. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate on me, y'all Warriors fans. But you know, y'all gotta like, respect LeBron. I mean, yeah. and Clay Clay messed up when he when he tried to call out LeBron, bro. He made him mad, bro. You got. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, subscribe again. Send it to your friends. Mm -hmm. Tell them to subscribe to us. And double take. We're out. Peace.